All right, now that we know how to assign oxidation numbers, we're ready for 8.2 oxidation reduction. Now, the first thing we're gonna have to do is memorize a little key phrase that we're gonna use constantly in this unit, and that is oil rig. Okay, that's here's what that stands for. O-I-L, oxidation is losing, R. I G reduction is gaining and it's all about electrons so oxidation is losing electrons when something loses electrons it is being oxidized when something is reduced it gains electrons and in one sense that seems kind of backwards but once you really start to see what's happening with the electrons it starts to kind of sort of maybe make sense now another phrase that can help remember this is Leo says Gur. I don't like this as much as oil rig, but I'm just going to let you know this way when somebody else says Leo says Gur, you don't look at them with a clueless look in your face. And that stands for lose electrons oxidation, gain electrons reduction. Okay, but in class I'm always going to use oil rig. Now both happen at the exact same time. Electrons are transferred from one species to another. Okay, so let's look at an example. So here's an oxidation reduction, a redox reaction, where copper plus silver nitrate forms copper nitrate and silver metal. So we need to kind of balance this and look at it and see what's going on. So first thing we're going to do with this is assign oxidation numbers. All right, so we got to follow the rules. Copper is by itself, so it's got an oxidation number of zero. Now, nitrate, when we look at table E, we can see that nitrate, NO3, is NO3 minus. So nitrate is going to be minus one. which means silver is going to be plus one. So this whole thing here is minus one and plus one. And the reason why I did that here is because the nitrate stays by itself, so I don't really have to deal with what's going on inside here. It'll just make my life a lot easier. Now on this side, right, nitrate was minus one, but there's two of them for a total of minus two. So that means the copper has to be plus two, plus two, Minus 2 equals 0, everything balances, and silver is 0. Next, I have to determine which are losing and which are gaining electrons. And it's important to note, species whose oxidation numbers don't change are called spectator ions, and they can be ignored. So we can see here that the nitrate was minus 1, and it stayed minus 1. We can ignore this now. Okay? So we can see copper is becoming Cu2+, plus, so it's losing electrons. We can see silver is going from a plus 1 to neutral, so it's gaining an electron. All right, so now we're going to write out what's called half reactions. And we look here, we see Cu is going to become, sorry, that should be a U, not a sloppy A, is going to become Cu with a plus 2 charge. Now notice I left some space here. Okay. Now when copper becomes copper plus 2, it does so by giving up 2 electrons. So it gives up 2 electrons. Silver at a plus one is becoming silver, zero. Now how does it do that? Well, it does it by gaining, see, that's why I left the space here, by gaining one electron. If there are diatomic things, H2, et cetera, et cetera, they have to be pulled out as a pair. This would be the only time you bring subscripts with you in creating half reactions, all right? So normally we would leave any subscripts, we would leave them behind, we wouldn't write them here. But we'll get to that when necessary. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to multiply to balance the charges. So we look here at this top equation, two electrons. This bottom equation, there's only one. If I multiply this by two, my electrons will balance. So now, right, if I multiply this by two, it gives me two, two, two. All right. Next, I will place the coefficients back in the original equation and then balance by inspection. So now if I put a 2 in front of my silver and a 2 in front of my silver, now I'm balanced. One copper, one copper, two silver, two silver, two nitrates, two nitrates. So now this is balanced. However, I need to decide which is oxidation and which is reduction. Well, I have to remember, oxidation is losing. So which, you, which one is losing electrons? Well, copper gives up two electrons. So this is my oxidation reaction. Reduction is gaining. Since this silver plus one is gaining electrons, it is reduction. So this is my oxidation. This is my reduction reaction. All right, let's do another one. We have Fe plus Cl2 yields FeCl2. All right, first thing on sign oxidation numbers, zero, zero. Chlorine, each is going to be a minus one because it's group 17. There's two of them, so it gives me minus two. I need to add up to zero, so that means the iron is going to be plus two. So iron is losing electrons. Chlorine is gaining electrons. All right, so here I have iron, Fe0, is becoming Fe plus 2. It does so by losing 2 electrons. Chlorine Okay, it's a diatomic, so it's got to be pulled out as a pair. Cl2 is becoming Cl2 plus, right, it's losing electrons. Each one is losing one electron, so both of them together are losing two, two. Oh, boop, 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 wrong side. It's becoming Cl2 minus one by gaining two electrons. So chlorine zero, two of them, gains two electrons and becomes Cl2 minus one, where each one is a minus one. Oxidation is losing. This is losing electrons. So this is the oxidation. Reduction is gaining. This is gaining electrons. Reduction is gaining. So this is my reduction half. Well, these are already balanced. Two electrons, two electrons, so I don't need to do anything here. So I don't need to multiply. And my coefficients are all 1. So this equation was already balanced. So all I really did here was identify that the iron becoming iron and giving up electrons is the oxidation half of the reaction. And the chlorine by gaining electrons is the reduction half of the reaction. All right. Now, sometimes you'll see them written like so, where we leave out the spectator ions since they can be ignored. And you'll see here these charges already written in. So zinc by itself is zero. Iron, you're told it's three plus. Zinc here is two plus because you're told. And iron, you're told, is zero. So I have zinc, zero, becoming zinc, two plus. How? By losing two electrons. Oxidation is losing. So this is my oxidation half. Fe3 plus is becoming Fe0. How? By gaining three electrons. Rig. Reduction is gaining. This is my reduction half. All right, so now I assigned oxidation numbers. I figured out what's gaining and losing. I wrote out my half reactions. 
And notice, the electrons are always added to the more positive side. 2 plus is more positive than 0, so I put the electrons here. 3 plus is more positive than 0, so I put the electrons here. All right, now I have to multiply. All right, I have a 3 and a 2, so i got to multiply this by 3. 3, 3, 6. I'll multiply this by 2. I'm running out of space. 2. So I squeeze it here. There we go. 2. Uh, you know, let me be nice here. 2. Ah, no, the white's not working. Hello. So, 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 2. So now I have, I have to take these numbers and put them back in here. Put a 3 in front of the zinc, and a 3 in front of the zinc. Put a 2 in front of the iron, and a 2 in front of the iron. And now we are balanced. All right, question time. Oxidation is simple memorization. Reduction is simple memorization. Identify the following as oxidation or reduction. Remember, oxidation is losing electrons. Reduction is gaining electrons. If you're not sure which goes where, look at the examples I gave earlier in the video. All right, that's the end. See you guys in the